If you were assaulted, would you set up for surviving the attack or would you want to win? Instead of defending yourself, one man is teaching women to fight back. But he claims this program is different, forcing women to role play, making the class as real as possible. Watch as News 10's Brittany Earle and a group of Wabash Valley women learn that sometimes if you want to win, you have to first give in. Here's her special report, not without a fight. Self-defense training is one thing. Bam, bam, run. Role playing an assault or even rape is definitely a different way of training. Come here. But that's exactly what one man does with his students. I mean, I bring people down to brass tacks. I bring them down to reality. There's no Hollywood nitty gritty. The reality of not just surviving, but winning. <laughs> grab the ankle, grab the ankle. Now keep yeah, it yeah. Yeah. Winning also means running away. So you stun and you run. I mean, you know, you put them down and you just get out of there as quick as possible. That's the motto Java Khan teaches women in his program, a program he created called WARDA, Women Against Rape and Domestic Abuse. And I don't want you walking out of here feeling warm and fuzzy. I want you walking out of here thinking about, hey, you know what? I'm a potential victim. This could happen to me, and I'm responsible for my safety. Yeah. Khan says fighting is 20% yeah. physical and 80% mental. Good job. That's what makes his program so different from others, the mental training. I mean, stuff that happens in real life is going to happen in this program. We're going to bring you close, very close to the reality, and we'll tell you how to get out of it. That's the difference. I decided to try out the class for myself. I joined several Wabash Valley women. We won't show you all of the training, but I will tell you that we role played some real life situations. And what I learned is that deception is key. He was just telling us to go along with it and act as if you're giving in to him, which what that does is it lets their guard down and then you go in and you attack. By tricking your attacker, letting them believe you've given in, allowing yourself to appear vulnerable. There you go. Khan says that's when you strike. He really did like when they did the hair grab. I thought he was gonna do it real gingerly <laughs> with me <laughs> and it really hurts. And you know, he was using a lot of verbal language that went along with a true assault. This class definitely um, showed you or helped you um, learn how much you are in control of your own self and how you how to use your own body to protect yourself. Not your average self-defense class, but a class that takes you to the extreme, giving women a real fighting chance. Boom! There you go. And Tara Ho with Chief Photojournalist Mike Lada. I'm Brittany Earle, News 10.